Well, good evening and welcome to Fishing with CJ. Uh, again, we're doing something different. We're down on the foreshore and we're going to do some bait pumping. Now, this is something I used to do a lot of um, many, many years ago. But back then, I used to use a kind of an inch and a half alvey pump. Uh, and the technique was to place the alvey pump over the top of the worm cast and pump vertically down. But like everything, things have moved on. Um, and I'm down here with my good mate Alex. Alex, say hello, mate. How you doing? Yeah. Howdy. And Alex has made me a pump, which is 22 mil stainless. 22 mil stainless steel, uh, which apparently is the the, the rigueur um, pump, but there's a different technique. So he's going to show me the technique, and we're going to go and give it a good go. See if we can't pump some worms. Actually, we're down in the fourth show. We're not we're not alone down here. There's one other pumper. Oh, and there's one down that way as well as a oh yeah, right down there. Um, so once we get down there, I'll film Alex's little uh, teach on how to do it, and then we'll have a go. But until then, catch you down there. So, so what are you saying, Alex? Normally down here, the last 15 minutes, obviously the water just gashes straight out. Okay, so it's the last it straight yeah. out, and then I always find dead on low tide is when all the cars start coming back up. Yeah, they start to appear, don't they? I, I, you know, as you say, you walk the length of the beach, there's no car here, and then you walk back, it's under you. Well, that's what I've been thinking by that guy. He looks like he's had one already. Oh, right. Okay. okay. Good try. So we're off the shingle, and we're on to the foreshore, which is kind of a mud and sand mixture. There is a gully here. All right, yeah. There's, there's a lot of stones in this bit here, so that would be very hard to pump because you'd be hitting stones all the time. Oops, a bit sloshy, isn't it? Yeah. And how deep's this gully? Uh, it's normally going to have to through it. Some bits might be sloshy. So Alex has just put a little bit of uh, Washing up liquid in his pump. I put some in mine a little while before I left, so it's nicely lube. Yeah, there's a still a lot of small razor clams washed up. Um, I guess they're left over from the big blow. There's a whelk. I do like coming out on the foreshore, it's amazing. You think it's like it, it's completely bereft of life, but when you come down and spend any time here, you find it's it's full of stuff, isn't it? Right, so obviously got a little cast here. There's your yeah. little cast. Obviously, I I always go a couple of inches and right. at a slight angle. Right. And obviously, people want to push down. Let the pump do the work. So, okay, so it sucks the worm out of the hole. Which no joy. No. Right. But sometimes when it is really cold. Yeah. Say. Say there's the cast, yeah. I sometimes have to come all the way back this way. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then obviously to get deeper. down. Yeah. So the idea is, whereas I was, in the old days, I was using a big pump, I was Which pumping down and top. bringing a great big column of sand up, you're actually sucking the, the wet the wet sand and the worm which in its hole gets sucked. I, sucked I actually in. got brought up with those LVs. Yeah. And my dad said to me, until you've mastered that, and then go down onto yeah. the 22s. Right, so let's have a go. So, two inches away. Yeah. About there, about yeah. that angle. That's it. Tail. There's a the tail. And are you you pump blow lug during this as well, do you? Yeah. Same technique, or? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, you will, you will see them, especially here. Because they tend to sit in the bottom of a U, don't they, blow yeah. lug? Yeah. You got one? Nice one. Pick up that lug. Yeah, so we're there. Up now. Yeah. I don't know. Got the best part of a worm out there. It's not a whole worm, but it's certainly a nice bait. Walking backwards, you see all these squirts of water. Those are those are razor clams. There are lots of razor clams. Loads of them. Look, 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 look. Hundreds of them. But they're tiny, they're little three inches long. So best left to go to be big granddaddy razor clams.
Yeah, it's like a the, um, super, that's like a big, uh, sea urchin, isn't it? But it's uh, yeah. one that buries itself in the sand, I think. Razor clamp, come out there. It come out and he's popped back in again. Have a tug of war with a razor clamp. No, he's got away. There you go. Little razor clam there. Only, only tiny though, look at that. You want them, you want them about that long. So if he, if he goes back down again. Right, there's definitely an art to this, which I haven't got yet, but I will. That's a little walnut, uh, walnut whip. Let's try a little bit further away and go in a steeper angle. Ooh. Tail, but it's a bigger tail. Whoa! Woohoo! Got one. Got one. Hey. I trimmed its tail off first, and then the second pump down, I got it. Right. So what did I do then that was different? just to prove it was a fluke. <laughs> Alex is making this look quite easy and I'm maybe going to like fool himself, but I shall persevere. I got one, yeah. But there's no rhyme or reason to that because I just went bit in about three inches and pulled hard and it just came out. should be doing so still getting them now starting to pick them up a little bit better um, getting into them now well occasionally I've still not I wouldn't say I'm consistent especially coming back a bit helping yeah. I think when you cut tails, it means you've gone too far. Yeah. You've cut across the room. Right, just to show that these these um, sand beds are actually full of life, this is something that uh, Alex just dug up. Now, both of us can't remember the name of it, so I'll have to look it up and I'll put it onto the uh, put it in the, in the details. But it is. I'm not sure if it's not some sort of squat lobster or type of crab. I've got a feeling it buries itself into the sand and it just has those two little antennas sticking out and then obviously it comes along with shrimp or something like it grabs it. So look, put it back down there, see if it buries itself back in. It's obviously reared up. Looking for a fight. So if anybody knows the name of that, put it in the comments or in the meantime I'll look, I'll look at new books. Collins Guide and I've got the details on there what it's called. But yeah, I say there is so much wildlife in this in this sand. Um, we, there's a big gaper clam shell over there, there's, so there's gaper clams in here, there's um, sea urchins, uh, uh, sand potatoes or beach potatoes or something potatoes which are top of sea urchins onto the sand. And um, loads and loads of black lug. Let's get one, come on. You got one? There's one there. And there's one there. Yeah. 
As I said, Alex making it look easy and we making it look up in here. Oh, that's the tail. Here's the rest of the worm, I think. Yeah. The nose of a worm. Go into my broken bits. My broken bit bin. Ideal as a bait, but not as good as a fresh out. Got his, but it's still a worm. So there's more wildlife on the beach there. There's a whelk. So perfectly alive. Um, cruising along. Enjoying his pastime to a great big hairy hand kind of picks up. Lining the tide coming back in now. And uh, there must be plenty of these in here as well, couples. Get another one on film, me pumping it. I've had, a, I've had quite a few, but I always seem to be when I'm not filming. Woohoo! There we go. Well, we're going to carry on pumping. Um, the memory card on this camera is getting quite full now, so I'm going to stop the film for now. Uh, and the next time you'll see me, we'll be down on the beach using some of these worms as bait for place. Thanks very much for joining me. I'm, I'm still learning this. I'm getting better at it, but um, still got a long way to go. Alex is, is just pumping them out like they're going out of fashion. Just you know, over my shoulders, make me look stupid. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so thanks very much for watching. Uh, as I say, something different. Uh, well, good afternoon. And welcome to the second part of this video, of the, uh, the pumping and place video. So we're now on the beach, and we're going to start using some of those worms that we caught last night, we dug last night. Um, the baits are all set up, the rods are all set up, all I've got to do is now cast them out and then sit and wait. No more ado, let's get these rods in the water. One, we've got two clip down paternosters, one rod has got two baits on, one rod has only got one bait on. They've both got lots of bling on them because, although I don't generally uh, declare my target species, the target species today is Palace. All right? We've got some nice bait, got some nice fresh outs. Um, I'm using the cut worms um, for the first couple of baits, but once we've got ourselves settled, we'll start putting some better baits on. So, no more ado, let's get these rods out in the water. So, first things first, We'll get the monofill rod out. There's not enough room for a decent swing for a pendulum, so I think it's probably going to be just off the ground casting. It's got a tailwind, so it will help with the cast. Right, is that wrap around the end or something? I want to make sure that my rods, my rings are all nice and freely moving. Something rubbing there. No, that's all good. Alex, yay, and Emily, Miley, Miley. Hello. Okay, hi guys. A bit she's, cold on the cold the on the beach. Fishing girl. You want to see the fresh water? All right, and you're my fan on on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, there you go. So great. Thanks very much for the support. Another groupie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Most of the group, my groupies are old blokes. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, fantastic. Well, nice to see you down here. It's all right. um, Come show yeah. support. Yeah, come and show us support. Help use the worms that you helped me collect yesterday. Um, it's really good. Now, look along the beach here. 
There are one, two, three, four, seven people fishing that way. Unheard of. Now, I happen to know that is a competition. All right, and they're from Hove. Um, but look along this way. The beach is full all the way down to the yacht club. And then it fizzles out. And I was going to go down to Tide Mills. And I, don't, I think there's a couple of people fishing down there. But we, we decided to come here because of the availability of the tea shack. But looking along the beach here, and, I, and again, I don't know if you're going to see it on this camera because it's quite wide angle. I might zoom it in. In fact, I will zoom it in. Um, that's how it used to be down this beach. Every weekend, it was shoulder to shoulder people fishing. Especially when the cod were in. Now, the cod aren't in, and, in anymore. I don't know where they are, but they're not here. Um, but it's good to see. It's good to see people fishing Seaford Beach. Now, the reason for this is Probably there's a couple of little club comps going on, but also the place are in. The, the word has gone out that people have been catching place off this beach. It is one of the top place fishing beaches in the UK. Um, and that's why they're here. So let's hope that we can um, achieve the target species. No more ado, let's get back fishing. Um, oh, you've got a nice pool down there. Which one, which on one? The G2. On what, the near one? On your zippy. Oh, OK. Um, it just gave the normal place bite. All right. As it's pulling down. I think I just had a bite on the left-hand rod. Oh, there is a... There is... Right. There is definitely a bite on the left-hand rod. So we've got it on video. You can probably hear that in the background, I've been joined by Marley and Alfie with all the squeals and shouting and everything that's going on. Okay, let's see if what we got on it. See if we've got anything at all. Definitely had a couple of knocks on it. You know, if I catch a place, what it will mean. Doesn't feel like there's anything on there. Oh, I don't know. Right, nothing there, but uh, bait's been robbed, so we will get a bait out quickly and uh, get that one rebaited up and uh, swap it over to the other rod when we bring it in. Let's see how that goes again. Um, once we get a little bit more tied, we might wind up some full pendulums. Pendulums. Let's settle down. Oh, oh, the current bun's out. Oh, Yippee, the sun's out. Oh, I don't know how long it's going to stay, but just for a moment, it's tropical. Perfectly, absolutely tropical down. I might have to take a layer off. Maybe not. But the sun only shines on the righteous, is what they say. That's what my Sergeant Major used to say anyway. Okay. Not much tugging on there now. What have we got there? We've got nothing. <laughs> Nothing there now. Nice fresh out. 
So we're onto the good baits now. So we can get this on here without piercing it and make it burst. We want it to burst in the sea, is what we want. So we've got a nice fresh out worm on there now. Um, just a great big cell of fresh juices. This has made my fingers yellow, which will turn black, no doubt. that. Let's put a bit of squid on the end of that just to hold it off the bend of the hook. Well, there's a bit of resistance here, but, oh, now we have got a fish, we have got a fish, but I don't think it's a fish worthy of a dance. It's a species number one. There we go, the first fish of the day, a rockling, a dingaling. I don't know if you can see this on a camera, but there are three people going in for a swim down there. Mental. Because, it, trust me, it's not warm. Of course, being a rockling, it's gorged the hook all the way down. Don't get a dance for that. So, these were the, these were the fruits of our, of our digging session last night. So nice big black lugs, um, fresh outs are still alive, been overnight in water, they haven't blown yet, there's a few blow lug in there as well, but that's what we're going to be fishing with today. Well I've been so busy tacking up, baiting up, rigging up, casting out, winding in, I haven't actually sat down and had a cup of tea yet, so that's what I'm going to do now, I'm going to sit down and have a cup of tea. So. Uh, yeah, come back to you once I've had a cup of tea or if something happens on the rods uh, and we'll film that. Had my cup of tea, nothing happening. Was getting a little bit of activity on the left end rod, so I might just wind it in, see if there's something on there, just lying dormant or if the crabs have had the bait or what have you. Uh, just keeping busy. Well, that bait came in and uh, it's hardly been touched. We'll, we'll put a fresher bait on and um, Wipe that out and then uh, freshen this bait up, put a bit more worm on it. But uh, nothing, nothing. My favourite time for place is around about now, so the sun is going down, so let's, uh, let's hope now is the time. Hold up just a minute, been looking for some help just to find myself. Like a thousand times before Can't take this anymore Cause I've been looking for something To change thoughts into motion Been waiting way too long Yeah, waiting just for somebody To love and to surround me And to handle my emotions I was out waiting for some if I close my eyes, it's all been a waste of time I was out driving every mile And now if I've been wild, it's all been a waste of time It's all been a waste of time How could somebody be with somebody? If you can't be by yourself yeah. I got my 
my problems Lately I've been fading out Holding out Waiting just for somebody to love and to surround me And to handle my emotions I was out waiting for something And if I close my eyes It's all been a Well, after all this time on a rod that's only chucked out, I know, 50 metres, if that, we have got a definite knock. And actually, it looks like we've got a definite knock on the other rod. That might be the wind. The left hand rod was going, a good rattly knock. Sun is, sun is now below the horizon. So it is time to start packing up. It will be dark very shortly. But, uh, come on, one little place. It's all I want. It doesn't have to be big. Now I put the camera on it. Of course it stops. Oh, it's going again. Definitely going again. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, come on, please be a fish. Yeah, I felt that through the rod. Well, winding this rod in to pack it away, and what have I got on the end of it? I have got a whiting! <laughs> so, Doubly not a blank. Hey mate, you alright? Yeah, you sure we're alright? It's, it's, yeah, I mean, if you, if, if you see the line, just duck under it, yeah? Not really. Not really. Yeah, I got whiting. <laughs> but I was hoping for a play. Sorry? Oh, what a lovely evening. A bit cold, but it's, sunset is amazing. Yeah. Cheers, but I'm packing up now. So, get this whiting back in. Well, it's time to pack up. Um, sun is going down. I can just about see what I'm doing with that headlight, but I've got my headlight on my head ready to go to finish tidying stuff away. Um, I might try and get down here first thing tomorrow morning, fish the flood up for a couple of hours, see if we can't connect with that place. Um, other than that, this might be the end so, of this session. Thanks very much for joining me. For those of you that came and saw my live, um, kind of disaster really, the battery went dead on my phone, so um, I, I lost it. So hopefully, I'm gonna be able to recover that and, and, and make sure that it stays on as a live um, for people to view. But if not, well, you know, such is life. GoPros and YouTube and all this malarkey, they, they, are, they are forever. Um, well, they're amazing, really, aren't they? Let's face it, they are amazing. But there is only a limitation. There is only a limit that they can do. Um, thanks very much for joining me. Stay safe, stay sane, stay fishing. <laughs> Good morning again, and, um, and welcome to Fishing with CJ. We are back on the beach. After our sort of um, fairly result-free session on the beach fishing the ebb yesterday, 
Because I've still got some worms left over, I thought I'd come down and fish a bit of the flood this morning just to see if that makes any difference. So we are on Seaford Beach. We're a slightly, a little bit further west than I was yesterday. Um, couldn't get here yesterday because, to be honest, there was shoulder to shoulder fishermen along here. So we're going to have a, have a little go off the beach here and uh, see how it goes. Got two rods set up, the usual two rods, both with multipliers on, one fixed with braid, one with uh, monofill. Uh, the braid rod has got a two, one up, one down, clip down rig with a gripper lead and the uh, monofill rod. I'm going to try rolling in lead this time. It's got a single hook, single hook, clip down, um, pulley rig, or yeah, pulley rig, or is it a pulley rig or, or a ledger rig or whatever. So anyway, it's fishing on the bottom um, on a longer trace with just a single worm on it because with a rolling lead, two hooks, there's more chance of it tangling up. But that's what we're going to be fishing. Let's get those out. Looking out to sea, it is pretty cloudy in, but say 50 metres out, that cloud finishes in the water, there's a pulse of clearer water. So we're going to try and cast that into that clearer water with the hope of picking up a place. Now, trust me, it is very cold down here today, and yet there are a bunch of people here who've been for a swim. God bless them. Right, so no more ado. Let's get these rods in the water and uh, see if we can't winkle ourselves out of place. So there are the rods. Got them pointing downwind, so you're not going to get bounced around too much by the wind, um, which should mean that I can distinguish between the wind and a bite. The rolling lead isn't rolling too much. It will roll around a little bit. Now, placed like a move, like 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 something that moves. Uh, they have sight feeders. Um, so the lead rolling around should make the to twitch the baits. Uh, the baits have got lots of beads and bling on them. Um, again, visual visual attractors for the place. Uh, and yeah, so let's switch off the camera for a moment, uh, save our battery and our SD card, and um, I'll come back on again if we catch anything. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishies. Um, who hasn't shouted that <laughs> when it's not fishing well? And I have. Go! I just want. I just want a place. Oh well. Got some activity on the left-hand rod. After all this time, there is definitely something going on there. So, nice pull down. A couple of little rattles. I think we're going to have to wind into that and see what we got. Definitely been some fish activity there, but maybe just something little that can't swallow the hook. Deb was well anchored in anyway. To be honest, I'd be happy with a dogfish or a whiting at the moment, just to save the blank. Or a dingling even. Anything. Anything fishy. We got. Ooh. We have a fish. <laughs> I say, or a dingling even. It 
It's not a blank, but you don't get a dance for a ding-a-ling, I'm afraid. But it's not a blank. Happy days. Well, that's the end of it. Um, you can't say I didn't give it a good go this weekend. Um, I fished most of the ebb yesterday and I, got, I fished a good part of the flood today. Um, you can't say the bait wasn't any good because I had some outstanding fresh dug black lug that um, I pumped myself. Um, you know, and that is an unbeatable bait on its day. Um, I'm not the only person who's not done well today, I'm sure, and yesterday. Uh, looking along here, there are, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's a dozen or so people fishing along here. I didn't notice anybody bringing anything in of note. Um, and I also hear a lot of people didn't do very well yesterday as well. So if the fish aren't in front of you or if the fish aren't feeding, then, then you're not going to catch them. Uh, both sessions weren't blanks. Uh, but uh, yeah, whatever. So that's the nature of fishing. Um, it, it would be boring. It would be called cool catching if all you did was catch lots of fish. Uh, it, it would just be nice to have seen something decent come in. Um, I mean, I know that there have been places been getting caught along here, and there have been the odd day which, where, it's, where it's really fished its rocks off. Um, and there were a few places caught yesterday. Um, but there must be a particular stage of the tide, or I don't know. The water is quite coloured. Um, I know the place don't like that very much. They go offshore when the water's coloured. Uh, what we need is we need a nice spell of six or seven days offshore winds or um, light winds to get the colour out of the water and then the place will go loopy and that's what I'm going to be looking for I think is we'll wait for that little window when the wind and the tide and the weather are, is right and we'll come back down here and we'll catch some spotties off the beach. Also I want to get on my boat and catch some on the boat. Um, I wouldn't want to be out on a boat today because although it's easterly wind and so it's sheltered in shore I don't know, by, by, the, by the end of the um, west arm there, there's just white caps as far as you can see. So I would imagine out of sea is quite uncomfortable today. So anyway, hey everyone, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this um, epic. Um, I let it down to make it as interesting as I possibly can. Um, yeah, and keep safe, keep sane and keep fishing. See you on the next one.